So you just want to crash into something. Not a problem. For this example, let's just pretend the main character is a cube and the enemy is the evil circular nation of balls. Well, the first thing that you should do before colliding with the enemy is create a tag for them. So go up here, add tag and type in the word enemy. Next thing you got to do is make sure that you and your enemy have colliders. Most objects come with one by default. If it doesn't, you can add one here and there are four types, box, sphere, capsule, and mesh. So if you have a weird shaped 3D object that isn't really shaped like a box or a capsule, you can just pick a mesh collider. And when you check convex, it will generate a collider shape based on your mesh. Regardless of what collider you have, just make sure that trigger is set to true. Next thing you gotta do is make sure that the thing that you are colliding with has a rigid body. When an object has a rigid body, it just means that it's affected by the physics engine. So if you play the game now, the evil ball will fall through the ground. That is because it is now affected by gravity. For now, let's just turn gravity off, you know, as you do. Okay, the collision ritual is now complete. Next thing we gotta do is type in our code. So go down, create a new C sharp script, name it something like collision, drag it onto your character. And then in the code, I'm gonna show you three different types of collision. The first is void on trigger enter. And the second is on trigger stay. And the last is on trigger exit. Let's start with enter. Here's how this works. Every time your main character collides with some other rigid body, whatever code is inside here is what's gonna happen. So let's say that we wanna check if we bumped into our enemies. To ask that, we just type if other dot game object dot tag equals equals enemy, then let's just print the words enter. And just to show you how the other ones work, let's copy and paste things over here. And instead of printing enter, let's print the words stay and exit. Okay, so here's the difference. Between these three collisions, trigger enter is only called on the first frame of collision. Trigger stay is called every frame of the collision and trigger exit is only called on the last frame of collision. If you save the game now and run it, here's what you will see. If we run into the ball, you'll see that as soon as we bumped into it, the enter collision code activates. And because we are still touching it, the stay code is also happening. If we stop touching it, the exit code happens and the stay code no longer activates because we're no longer touching. So this happens each time the objects collide. So enter happens once on the first frame of collision, exit happens once on the last frame, and stay happens every frame of collision. And that's really it. I use this code a lot for my missiles. Each missile has a hitbox, and when that hitbox detects an enemy hitbox, I use on trigger enter to activate subtracting health from the enemy or blow the missile up. And the collider doesn't have to be the same shape as your object. You can use just a square or a capsule for your character, even if your object is more complicated. It uses less processing power, and lots of games have done it this way. So just pick a shape that works best for you. It doesn't have to be complicated, but either way, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.